Welcome back, Legendary Potato here, and today I'm going to be going through the top five secret uses for anvils. That's right, anvils in Minecraft, they're pretty cool, and I'm going to be going over some secret uses that you may or may not have known about them. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the video, of course, if you do, make sure you do leave a like. Let's try to hit 30 likes on today's video. If we had 30 likes, that would be insanely awesome. But with that said, let's get started with the first one here. So let's go right down this way. So we have a villager, and we have uh, something pretty cool set up. It's an anvil anvil trap check that out right there so what I got as I got an anvil trap because you can use anvils to set up traps for your friends or for random villagers if you don't have friends uh, but yes yeah, so you can do that it's very easy to set these things up all you need is a piston an anvil and something like this and you can have a lot of fun with it so obviously as you can see you can drop an anvil on someone just like in the little cartoons and you can kill them uh, I mean I don't know I find it kind of amusing it's pretty amusing whenever you kill someone with an anvil and so that's that there so of course you guys are probably dying to see me crush this villager right now aren't you Ooh, am I gonna press the button am I not gonna press the button Ooh, what am I gonna do what am I gonna do am I gonna press it you know what let's press it watch this and dead <laughs> so as you can see the anvil crushes them and uh, it, it's just pretty cool very easy to set these things up and um i did lower that villager's health so it made an instant kill uh, which was very convenient um but i could do the same thing with the pig we'll, we'll do one more of these because it, it's just pretty fun right so all you do press your button or press whatever you got drop the anvil and dead really nice there we go we got some pork chops so i find this the most amusing thing uh, but you guys may Hello? Okay, wait. Are you, apparently, they don't stack. <laughs> uh, anvils don't stack? Whoa, oh, oh, that's buckets. Wait, don't, uh, anvils do stack. What is this? What? You guys saw that? Okay, anyway, moving on to the second one here. That was pretty weird. Um, which is going to be is an anvil launcher. So, obviously, anvils are very fun weapons. Um, and if you set up some really scuffed launcher like this, then you'll have a lot of fun. So, let's go ahead and put an anvil on. Uh, right over here so we can do that and if we just press this button it's gonna do magic and it launches it all the way over to here that's pretty cool so imagine hitting somebody with an anvil all the way from over here so you know what I kind of want to try it let's set this up really quickly what we're gonna do we're gonna put a villager right there and we'll see if this guy totally gets sniped by our thing so what we're gonna do we're gonna break that gonna place that back because I had to do some really weird stuff to make this work don't worry about it it it's kind of a weird design but we're gonna go ahead and launch it we're gonna see if this totally snipes this dude and oh oh it kind of did um, looks like that kind of uh, ruined it a little bit so what we're we gonna do uh, we're gonna try that again because this thing's a lot of fun to play with I need an excuse to play with this thing a ton anyway um, so let's just go ahead and do that and we're gonna launch it again let's go ahead and follow it let's see and Ooh, there we go. So that was pretty awesome. You can use these things to launch anvils at your friends. And um, yeah, I mean, there's probably actual designs on the internet. But if you're like me and you're too lazy to do that and you can figure out how to do it yourself, you can do that, launch these things, and that's just a lot of fun. So with that said, we'll move on to the next one here, which is going to be a little bit different from a weapon. Anvils uh, being weapons is going to be a thing of the past now. We're going to move on to actual other uses, uh, which is going to be right up here. So I kind of turned part of this bridge into a fancy bridge. Check this out, right? I used anvils for the walls. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Looks nice. Uh, I think it does. Uh, maybe you disagree. But anvils look really cool. So if you use anvils for your building, actually, we can even take this a step further. If you use like trap doors on top, oh, that would be really good. So let's go ahead. Let's do that right there. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Really cool, right? So you can use uh, anvils and build them in really cool ways. I kind of did this sort of uh, medieval looking thing here. And so they just make really good rails and walls or whatever you want to do with them. So look at that there. It looks pretty neat, right? I like it. Looks good. And, um, yeah, so I don't know, just kind of made this fancy looking thing pretty cool. Let's move on, of course, to the next one, which is going to be right down over this way because uh, you can do cool things uh, with anvils. You might know, not know this one, uh, but you can do custom naming. So you're probably like, oh, yeah, you can name mobs uh, using, oh, yeah, the name tag. You just throw the name tag in. You gave a, a, a name. I don't know. Let's say you, you put in some sort of name and it's like, yeah, you can name uh, your, your mobs that. And so it's pretty cool. Uh, but what you might not know 
is that you can actually do this another way, which is actually, uh, I spelled that wrong. Anyway, um, so you can do it in another way as well. Um, but let me show you guys this here. Let me go into a difficulty so I can actually show you guys uh, what this is. So as you can see, you can name that. And if you're bad at spelling like me, trying to spell really quickly, then that's a thing. But what you can do as well, uh, instead of naming the name tag, you can name the spawn eggs. So let's say I wanted to do you uh, something for this, uh, then I could just name the spawn eggs, and it's going to automatically name them, so I don't have to use the name tag. So check this out right there, sub. So pretty cool, uh, and you can do this with any mob. As you can see, the name tag shows up, uh, and here's one we did it like it's the same exact thing. So it can save you some time if you want to have custom mobs. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. So make sure you do smash that video like button. There we go. Anyway, let's move on, of course, to the last one. Yes, it is the last one. Fantastic. Which is going to be a very similar thing. I'm gonna just set it to peaceful because I'm kind of tired of you staring at me. Okay, uh, which is going to involve these things, chests and furnaces and probably some other things as well, other containers. So containers are really cool uh, because you can actually custom name them and when you place them down something really cool happens. It's kind of a little cool secret feature not many people know about or even do anything about. So I'm going to put my name, my name's Cameron, hi nice to meet you. Uh, so we're going to put down Cameron's chest and I'm going to put a little thingy here so you can be grammatically correct. Uh, where is that thing anyway? Is that this? There we go. So there we go. We got my chest. So yeah, like, oh, it shows up in the inventory. Yeah, cool. Big deal. But if you place it down, eh, check this out. Right there, it shows up. Pretty neat, right? So if I put these down, as you can see, it puts it there. So you can claim your chest. And uh, same thing with your furnace, too. So let's say you want to, I don't know, let's say you want to do some really meme name. You can do like, ooh, smelty uh, boy. I don't know. We'll, we'll say it's like smelty boy uh 102 thing i don't know so you can name your your containers which is the point here so obviously it, you can be as ridiculous as you want to be uh but <laughs> that's entirely up to you you can do whatever you want with this thing but personally um i, I think it's kind of cool and only costs a couple xp levels and um i think the possibilities with this are, are really cool it's such a subtle thing but like having this i think is a, a pretty great thing and personally so uh, of course you can do that if you want to you can choose not to if you thought that was stupid but i enjoyed the small little things so smelty boy 102 thing uh is quite amusing to me but um, that's just me of course if you want to do those secret things that's a thing you can do of course so hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Of course, let me know which one is your favorite down in the comments section below. Was it the anvil trap? Was it the anvil launcher? Which is, uh, where is that thing? Oh, it's over this way. Yeah, okay. So the anvil launcher. I want to launch this thing one more time because it's pretty awesome. I bet you guys want to see it launch one more time, right? Probably. Probably not. I don't know. You know what? We're going to launch it anyway. Let's do it. Right here. Boom. Right there. Press the button. Amazing things happen. It's going to go all the way over there. That's pretty satisfying. Um. But yeah, there's a lot of secret uses for anvils, which are a pretty cool underappreciated block. You should totally use them a lot more, and that's just a thing. So yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the secret uses. Let me know which one's your favorite, which one is your least favorite, which one uh, your cat liked the most, which one your mom liked the most, all, all that sort of great stuff. Let me know down in your comment, and uh, yeah, I'll probably give you a little heart because your comment's cool. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.